Frank Vogel deserves better. Frank Vogel deserves a hell of a lot better than he's getting right now. Fact. Let me say it a little bit louder for the people in the very back. Frank Vogel, sure as all hell, should not be on the hot seat. Frank Vogel has been jammed hard by the Lakers repeatedly. They have been jamming this guy since the very day they hired this guy back in 2019. They made it clear when they hired him that they weren't exactly fired up about him because they only gave him a three-year contract. So in his first season, a season marked by a preseason controversy, the shocking death of franchise legend Kobe Bryant, the COVID pause, and then the bubble. In that season, with all of those things, and he was the guy they didn't want, he leads them to an NBA championship. Remember that old rule of thumb that if you bring two superstars together, they need at least a season before they can really compete for a title. Well, he broke that rule, and he did so in a year where there was a pandemic. And he did it in a situation where everybody was expecting him to be set up, to be fired, and replaced with an assistant. We all remember that. But then after that title, did they kind of admit, yeah, you know, we got that wrong. After the title, did they give him an immediate extension and take care of him? No. Then he comes back in year two after a comically short offseason, and he's got the Lakers right at the top of the Western Conference despite numerous injuries, and they even had a 2-1 series lead, and they were leading game four in their matchup in the postseason before Anthony Davis got hurt. And then Frank's reward for all of that a contract extension that reportedly was one year. Yeah, thanks for doing one of the best coaching jobs in organization history. Here's a couple of more weeks tacked on to the end of your contract. Then before year three, the entire roster gets flipped this past offseason. The organization takes this big swing, and they bring in Russell Westbrook and a bunch of other guys from the 2012 All-Star Game. We're talking about a who's who of the NBA, but from a decade ago. A roster that initially included LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, Rajon Rondo, Dwight Howard, Marcus Gasol. Six dudes from the 2012 All-Star Game. And there was more. There was Kent Bazemore, Wayne Ellington, Trevor Ariza, Malik Monk, DeAndre Jordan, Kendrick Nunn. And then they shoved that box of misfit pieces in Vogel's face and said, hey, yo, make that work. Oh, and LeBron's been hurt. And of course, Anthony Davis has been hurt. And they had a COVID outbreak. And Russ has been a complete disaster who alternates between crazy turnovers and horrible shooting. Things have gotten so bad they've had LeBron at the five for the first time in his career at age 37. And yet somehow, some way, you're going to pin this on Frank Vogel. Somehow, some way, this dude is on the verge of getting kicked to the curb, reportedly any second now. I mean, get the hell out of here with that. I, I mean, I believe the speculation. <laughs> I know that's true. I believe this guy could be fired any second. But it's bull crap. It's garbage. garbage. It's complete 100% garbage. Garbage. The Athletic. Had the story yesterday, and the story was that Vogel was on the hot seat and that he was, quote, being evaluated on a game to game basis and remains at risk of being fired soon if the progress doesn't continue. End of quote. Again, the hell is that? Not only that, but he was nearly fired after the loss to Denver and is now, quote, coaching for his job. Again, the hell is that? You completely turn over the roster. You give him completely different pieces that don't fit at all. You have this guy work without LeBron for a period of time. Of course, without AD for a period of time. And then you expect better than 500? (laughs) On what planet? Seriously, what year are you in? It's 2022. It's not 2012. You can't just roll Melo, Russ, and Dwight out there and expect wins. That's not how that works. That's not how anything works. And yes, that 37-point loss to Denver was a disaster. So were the losses to the Kings and the Grizz before that. But to put that on Vogel and to say that Vogel is the problem here and that getting rid of this guy is going to make things better, I mean, that's a 
Ridiculous take. Totally ridiculous, Rome. I mean, why not just hire Ricky from Tampa? Get the totally hell out of here with that, Rome. too. And yes, I am aware that they're 22 and 22, but don't stick that on Vogel. In fact, he's actually 21 and 17 as the head coach this year. The team went 1 and 5 with David Fisdale as acting head coach. Take that for data. And then, good one, Alvy. And then when Vogel comes back, they win four straight. So that should tell you something about how much better things will be if they break this guy off. Newsflash, it won't be better. Because again, this bullcrap is not his fault. And then after that piece in The Athletic dropped, the LA Times followed that up with a piece of their own. Quote, people with knowledge of the situation insist there are no current plans to replace Vogel. End of quote. Eh. If that was supposed to be comforting or reassuring, it's not. If anything, it only confirms the report that came right before it. There are no current plans to replace Vogel sounds to me exactly like he's, quote, coaching day to day. Tell me the difference between that and there are no current plans to replace Vogel. You can't because there is no difference. Listen, I get that it's a tough gig, just as I get that coaches are hired to be fired. But the Lakers are doing Frank Vogel dirty. They've done it from day one. The whole rap was that this team was built for the postseason. Well, if it was built for the postseason, what are you doing thinking about firing your championship head coach halfway through the regular season? How does that make sense? And part of your complaint is, yeah, well, the team doesn't play defense. The defense hasn't been where it should be under Vogel. Also, are you kidding me with that? Did you see the guys he was given? Did you see the guys you brought in? Not exactly Dennis Rodman and Gary Payton. Carmelo Anthony, in his prime, was not exactly a stopper. And he's not in his prime. Yet they've got him playing 27 minutes per night. I'm not saying that Frank Vogel is perfect. Or has been perfect. And yes, he did stick with DeAndre Jordan for far too long. But the core of the team that he coached in the last two years is either permanently gone or has been injured for huge chunks of the season. And yes, I get that the effort has not been great, especially during that three-game losing streak. But maybe, maybe it's because these dudes, wait for it, are old as hell. Maybe it's not that they quit on the coach. Maybe it's just who and what they are. Old, slow, and they don't give a damn about anything that has anything to do with defense. In other words, they're rid. Old, slow, and don't give a damn about defense. Thank you. Or vegetables. But here's the real problem. (laughs) How about this? How you doing, old man? You good? Game on. You're above ground, dude. You got to be good. Any day you're above ground, rit is a good day. Remember that. Just shout out to Ritt in the back row there. Finally. Slamming his hot chocolate. Anyway, here's the real problem. (laughs) Actually, here's what's outrageous. According to the LA Times, after last week's loss to the Kings, Vogel and Fisdale met with Rob Palenka and Kurt Rambis. Oh, and there's more. Quote, Rambis then attended the Lakers pregame coaches meeting Monday. Rambis has regularly attended coaching meetings this season and advocated for the Lakers to use more traditional strategies. End quote. Kurt Rambis is still involved? Kurt bleeping Rambis has got some level of influence on coaching. He's sitting in on meetings now. Again, get the hell out of here with that. I understand Kurt and his wife are tight with Jeannie Buss. She is the owner. She can do what they want. But I do still remember the comedy of the horrible old days when Linda Rambis was referred to as the shadow owner of the Lakers. And everybody thought that was hilarious. But I thought those days were over. I thought that when Frank Vogel won that championship, that the Ram by had taken a step back. Apparently, I was wrong. Apparently, Kurt is attending coaching meetings and advocating for certain strategies. And if that's true, how pissed do you think Vogel must be about that? Are you kidding me? Listen, Rambis was a legend from his playing days. But have you checked out his coaching days? Has anybody forgotten about those days? 
He went 9-19 and in his last NBA coaching gig, and that was an improvement. He was 32-132 and in his previous attempt. This dude is 41 and 151 as a head coach in the NBA, yet he's giving advice to somebody on coaching. A winning percentage of less than 300. Coaching three teams, and that guy's telling Frank Vogel what to do. Vogel, if I were Vogel, and Kurt Rambis of all people, started showing up and telling me what to do, if I'm Vogel, I got to be thinking about going Kevin McHale on this guy. Just running up and clotheslining him. And dropping him to the ground. ground. I'll say it again. The Lakers have done this guy all wrong from day one. So it shouldn't be a surprise that they're looking to make him the fall guy. But if you're going to fire him, you better fire everybody who thought that that roster was a good idea.